This is a lazy, sunny and warm Sunday and still I am doing some work. I just felt like doing some work. Uh, so in this update that I am just placing on my research blog, I shake off a little bit regarding my current stream of work. As you might have noticed if you follow my blog, uh, I am working on a business plan for a fintech project which I uh, named NFIN as a working name. It is supposed to be a fintech platform uh, in the market of energy, specifically oriented on promoting renewable energies and on finding a place for itself in the environment of smart cities. Anyway, I am in a sort of a delicate phase in the business planning. This is pro pro probably the hardest part in preparing any business plan. And it consists in figuring out very exactly and very pragmatically the core business process and the customer relations that go with that business process. It is crucial. A good business plan definitely needs uh, to contain that type of understanding, but it is really hard. Uh, at least my experience of figuring out the core business process and the customer relations is literally like trying to squeeze a square block into a round hole. Anyway, I feel that I am entrenching myself a little bit uh, in the thinking, I need some distance, I need some shake-off, so today in my update I present some kind of intellectual shake-off. Uh, I return to one of my favorite readings, to a treaty from the end of the 17th century, uh, entitled in French, Le Parfait Négociant, uh, or in English, The Perfect Merchant. The book was written by a certain Jacques Savary, a gentleman who had quite an abundant uh, walk of life, who did many things. Uh, you can find on over, over those last months some uh, references to this book on my blog. I am a little bit fascinated with uh, the end of the 17th century uh, in terms of economic history and social history. I have some sort of an intuitive uh, uh, guess in my mind that we today, now, in our society are a little bit returning to the social reality, to the kind of social reality we used to experience by the end of the 17th century. We are progressively leaving those big standardized systems like standardized uh, fiat currencies, standardized banking systems, standardized in the industrial markets, we go again towards diversity. And, uh, and I, th I think that diversity is the best word to describe what allegedly uh, took place by the end of the 17th century. Anyway, today I am presenting some reflections on monetary systems and more specifically I take some passages from the book by Jacques Savary uh, regarding the letters of exchange or bills of exchange which, if you want, were the, the grandfathers of the today's paper money and even of the today's cryptocurrencies. So, I wish you a nice reading. Uh, maybe that reading will give you some kind of intellectual shake-off just as it uh, allowed me to shake off. I wish you a nice Sunday, a nice sunny and warm Sunday and a nice reading. Bye.